Hey everyone, this is Randolph here. We're at E3 2010 talking to Rue from Ready at Dawn about God of War Ghost of Sparta for the PSP. Let's start off with uh, a bit of a storyline uh, check, mate. W where does this uh, game actually take place in the God of War universe? Uh, Ghost of Sparta takes place between uh, God of War 1 and God of War 2. We actually leave Kratos as the God of War in the, in, at the end of God of War 1. And by the time God of War 2 starts, he's on his rampage you know, to go kill the gods. And there's a time between where, we, where something happens basically. Basically, a lot of things happen to make him actually decide to do what he does actually in the second game. And what our story does is, is give you an, a, a very good idea of why he's so pissed off in the second game. So this is obviously uh, Ready at Dawn's second yes. uh, game, God of War game on the PSP. What did the fans ask for in the first one that you decided to put into the second one? Um, I mean, there, there, there were a, f a few things. I mean, uh, the first thing I think people thought was that they would have loved to see a longer game. So for us, it was just like, yeah, absolutely, we would have loved to see a longer game. So that's kind of like the first thing that we wanted to address. But then we, not only the fans, but also, you know, the guys who worked at Sony Santa Monica also, they also, you know, came in and said, like, it'd be really cool if you guys do this, that. And we decided, you know what, we should actually go back, look at the whole game, every aspect of it, not just one, one single thing, and just revamp everything. And we did. We actually went from the graphics to the gameplay to the combat gameplay to navigation to story to everything actually has been revamped and made bigger. Now you mentioned that you, know, you took inspiration from God of War 3 for I guess the, the sword, uh, the spear and shield. What other things did you take from God of War 3? There are, there are really cool things that they did. Actually, God of War 3 actually reminded us that we could do more than just actually play the game that we, the way we used to play it, which is you know a lot of combat, a few CS moves and and, uh, and the story you know, going on in cinematics. We wanted to add a lot more like in your face, moment to moment gameplay, which is you know, what you see, for example, with Helios in God of War 3, which you're getting so close to, to the action, how Kratos interacts with Helios. We took that approach pretty much from the start to the end of the game. We decided we're gonna make this game as personal as possible and get you as, as close to Kratos as possible. And that was like a huge, huge goal for this game. Well, thanks for that, Rue. The game's looking great. Can you tell us when people can hit it, uh, get, get it on the streets? Uh, the game actually is shipping before the end of the year, I think. Uh, I'm not exactly sure of the date, but uh, it'll be shipping this year. Okay. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. For more on E3 2010, make sure to check out GameSpot.